Hey y'all, it's June 4th and I was doing perfectly fine three days ago. Just trucking forward, being positive in my thoughts and leaning onto God. I have to be honest, like yesterday, I felt waves of sadness about this whole cheating and just really being sad about the whole thing even happening. Like, I hate that I'm in this position. I hate the way that it made me feel. Um, I hate dealing with the mental obstacles that I have to overcome. So I'm just dealing with like waves of sadness that this even happened to me and I have to deal with this. Let me get better lighting. Oh my god. I didn't think this was going to be a long video, but I needed to document because I was doing just fine. And then yesterday and today, throughout the day, off and on, I've been feeling emo and like sad about the fact that this even happened. Allowing myself to feel what I need to feel. And last night I felt. Horny. <laughs> I don't know if it's too TMI, but I'm probably ovulating. It was a really weird feeling. I'm like, girl, not time to be feeling horny right now, okay? Like, there's nobody to have sex with. You're a celibate. Get it together. Mental war. Um, I did give in, I'm not gonna lie, and I used my V. I'm sure you guys all know what that means. I felt kind of guilty afterwards like was that the right thing to do i don't know i'm just i'm i guess i'm just allowing myself to feel the way that i feel so i do feel a little sad that this is even my life like what the f <sighs> like just this past march the 10th was my grandma's second year of passing it's so crazy because i feel like that's still so brand new and then in april 10th was my dog coco passing away and then May 10th is when an event happened that I was told about not until the 22nd of May that everything in my life has changed forever. My life will never be the same. And I honestly cried last night because I'm like, I hate that. I thought I was fine while I was healing, but the grieving and the healing process is not stagnant. It's gonna be a roller coaster. So yeah, the waves of sadness is, sorry, I look crazy. Um, the waves of sadness is present, but I'm just looking forward and sucks. Like it truly, truly, truly sucks. Like, I hate feeling this way. Every day that passes, I'm like, I just want to be happy again. I don't want to feel like this no more. I think I've been kind of not suppressing how I feel, but I guess I'm so in shock of the whole situation that it's like, I just want it to be over. So I'm not 100% feeling what I need to feel. Like, yeah, I'll cry. I'll go through emotions. And I went through hell to pull myself out of that dark place that I fell into. I just want it to be over. Like, I just want this part of the healing process to be done with <sighs> so tomorrow i do have my check-in with my pcp i think i'm gonna get my pap smear tomorrow so i'm praying for healthy positive results i'm nervous about that i just want to be healthy and happy yeah like with my job i'm still settling in i'm still training so i don't have like a set schedule yet just shitty 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 situation to be in it sucks it really freaking sucks but you need to like keep pushing forward girl like there's no other way out of this but forward and through it i remind myself that i've been down this road before it's just a little harder because it's been a longer duration of a relationship and i felt deeper things with this person than i did with the last relationship so everything is 
le next level pain. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> Almost two weeks since everything went down. A lot has changed within those two weeks. A lot of changes are taking place. A lot of changes. And right now I can't see a full staircase ahead, but I'm just taking things one step at a time, taking one day at a time, trying not to overthink and to leave all my worries and understandings to God and not to lean on my own understanding. That's where I'm at. But I really can't wait. Like I may not see the future now, but I know it'll be great, but I guess I just don't feel it right now because I'm still healing. <sighs> I don't know, I have no words. I need to stop. I need to stop. Whew, this is the reality, y'all. Yeah, I'll update you guys when I have my appointment tomorrow. I'll document some of that. I don't know how soon I'll get my results in, but then I'll post a video. I'll see you guys then. Y'all, update. I am home now. I went to my PCP appointment. I thought I was going to be able to go to my OBG and get a, my annual pap smear, but I wasn't able to today, so it was rescheduled to next week, Wednesday. Um, today I had a different doctor because my original PCP is on vacation and she's not back till the 22nd of this month. So a different doctor ended up seeing me, went over my blood test and everything. So my blood test is all good. My urine test is all good. Thank you, Jesus. And now I guess I'm awaiting my next week appointment for my annual pap smear. Yeah, so I'm home now and I'm gonna go poop. I've had the runs all day today, which is not great. Um, but yeah, so everything, the follow-up from my last video, I think I documented me going to get my blood work done. Everything is clear. Thank you, Jesus. And I guess the next time I'll update you guys is when I get my pap smear done and then my results. So I have those videos lined up that's gonna be coming soon. Yeah, so today was just super freaking hectic.